in our lives we all take different kind of medicines to get cured and of those one of the medicines are called antibiotics the most important ones antibiotics are a type of drugs used in treatment and prevention of bacterial infections and sometimes protozoan infections too and remember here to make a difference between antibiotic and antibacterial drug as antibiotic drugs affects both prokaryotic cell as well as eukaryotic cells or a single cell at a time while as antibacterial drugs are exclusively for prokaryotes only that leads us to a statement that antibiotic can be antibacterial drug as majority of drugs are antibacterial here so the question here is how they eliminate the pathogenic bacteria what's the mechanism of their action let's find out in this video before proceeding let's see how the gene expression works for bacteria that's prokaryotic cell because it's this gene expression which is going to be affected by antibiotics because these biological process in bacteria will be the target of antibiotics the first step in the gene expression is the transfer of information from dna towards rna molecule then the information for rna gets transferred to the protein and finally this protein describes the function in metabolism this is how the flow of information occurs within the biological system that's the information gets transferred from dna to rna rna to protein and protein gives the specific function that's assigned to it from the gene it has been translated the first process in which the dna information is transferred to rna is known as transcription and the transfer of information from rna to protein is termed as translation so if any of the above process is halted the gene will not be expressed and the bacteria will not be able to produce proteins and ultimately the bacteria population will die off and the antibiotics are made in such a way that they target these processes and in the first process these antibiotics target the transcription process where there is no transcription there occurs cell death and then they also target the translation process translation process is targeted here when there is no protein making in bacteria the bacterial cell dies off not only these process gets halted but there is another process where a dna molecule copies itself in another dna molecule and this process we call it replication process or simply dna replication process and the antibiotics also target this process that's dna molecule is not able to make another dna molecule when the cell division occurs antibiotics have also two sweet targets one is cell wall synthesis they inhibit the cell wall synthesis here causing the death of bacteria like penicillin and another target is here folate synthesis which is one of the important metabolic process that occurs in bacteria it's also getting targeted by antibiotics causing the death of bacteria here now let's see in detail the action mechanism of antibiotics in the different processes the first process we are going to discuss here is the inhibition of transcription process how the antibiotics inhibit the transcription process we know it's the information from dna that is getting transferred to the rna by this process that's the transcription process and in this process it is the rna polymerase that catalyzes the synthesis of rna molecule and that's particularly the mrna from dna molecule and this rna polymerase is made up of four subunits two alpha units and two beta units and there is another subunit which is called omega subunit that activates all the four subunits it facilitates the assembly of rna polymerase that's why we say it's made up of only four subunits because the omega one is only activates it so here the antibiotics target the beta subunits of rna polymerase and renders it non-functional when the rna polymerase is non-functional there is no synthesis of rna molecule from dna molecule so it inhibits this that is the transcription process gets inhibited by antibiotic rifampicin is one of the most important drugs that's able to inhibit the transcription of bacterium mostly it inhibits the transcription of mycobacterium and staphylococcus aureus and many others then we see the inhibition of translation process by antibiotics in bacteria here in this process the information present on RNA, particularly the mRNA, gets transported in a product called protein. The translation process in which a final functional protein is made happens to occur in ribosome. The ribosome of bacteria is 70S, as we all know that it consists of 
one large subunit that's 50s and small subunit that's 30s and in this protein synthesis process the mrna chain installs in between two subunits like this as you can see in this diagram and initiates the translation process the process is very sensitive if any deformation or disturbance occurs within the assembly the protein synthesis will not occur if there is any misreading of codon by anticodon of trna that's codon of mrna and anticodon of trna gets misread the process will be terminated so the antibiotics target the 50s unit as well as the 30s unit of ribosome and inhibits the protein synthesis and also some antibiotics also target the mrna chain thereby deforming the shape of mrna chain and trna misreads the codon on mrna chain by it is anticodon present on it thereby terminating the process for this inhibition process we use drugs like clindamycin that target 50s unit of ribosome chloramphenicol that also target the 50s unit and for 30s unit there are tetracyclines that inhibit the protein synthesis process then there is inhibition of cell wall synthesis by antibiotics and it mostly occurs in gram positive to bacteria because the antibiotics target here peptidoglycan layer and this peptidoglycan layer is mostly present in gram positive to bacteria in large quantity while as it's present in gram negative bacteria 5 to 10 percent and that too on the inner side while as in case of gram positive to bacteria it's present on the outer side of cell wall that's why it mostly occurs in gram positive to bacteria and in its making there is a cross-linking of linear peptidoglycan chains and when there is a cross-linking of linear peptidoglycan chains the peptidoglycan layer is made finally and here in this process the antibiotics inhibit the cross-linking of linear polypeptide chains thereby the peptidoglycan layer is not made when the peptidoglycan layer is not made the cell death occurs the antibiotics which cause inhibition of cell wall synthesis include a group of antibiotics called penicillin drugs that include amoxicillin, beta-lactam antibiotics and many others. This is how the antibiotics work in our body to eliminate the pathogens that are causing the disease. And the folate synthesis and DNA replication inhibition will be discussed in different part of the video. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.